Hello friends, welcome to Simply Clouded. My name is Ashish Jain and today we're going to see a very interesting topic based on a very common query that I receive, which is that when we get an SNS notification for one of our CloudWatch rules, it is a gibberish JSON format out of which we have to do a lot of efforts to make sense. Today's session is aimed at using input transformer which is a CloudWatch rule, which many of us ignore to send custom notifications, the notifications that we design based on our easy to understand language and also add dynamic variables based on our CloudWatch event. For that, I've done some basic preparations in which I have used an instance, which I'm going to use to generate notifications. I have used a CloudWatch rule. I have not used it yet. I will be creating a new CloudWatch rule uh, live in front of you to show you how to use the input transformer feature. I have got an SNS notification, which has a subscription to my cloud at simply gmail.com uh, endpoint so that I can receive that custom notification. This is my cloud at simply mailbox where I'm expected to receive the notifications. Let's go to the CloudWatch management console and go to rules to create our first rule for testing the email template. I've already created this, but I'll create a new one for this demo purpose. I'm going to select the service as EC2 and take the most easy and the simplest EC2 instance state change event to demonstrate you guys how to use this functionality. The key or the secret lies in the target. When you add a target, you need to select SNS. You need to select the topic where you want to redirect your notifications, which are custom. You go to configure input and you select the input transformer feature. It will ask you for two parameters. One is the input path, which is basically the set of dynamic values that you want to pass to your email template. The second is the actual template is going to ask. Let me show you how you will design and extract values to create an end template which suits your needs. Let's imagine this is your CloudWatch event which is registered in the event bridge where you change the state of the EC2 instance and an event is generated. Here you will find different blocks and for a very simple event you will see a detail block. So to capture the state and the instance ID in the input path of the input transformer, you will define a variable in the curly brackets and then in double quotes, and then pass the value of the variable by dot, which basically represents the root, then detail, which represents the first level of the hierarchy of the block, and then state, which is the actual variable. In the same way, you will define an instance variable and take the detail.instance ID. So I've already created the input path. I'm just going to copy this. Notice that the curly brackets are important. Otherwise this will throw an error. Let's go back and let's take the input template. Here you will basically add your language, but to pass the variables in this template, which you have already extracted in your input path, you'll have to use these kind of larger than, smaller than brackets. This fish mouth brackets will basically extract the information dynamically populated when the template is generated. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to just paste this here and also add a simple hello simply clouded just to confirm you guys that I am the one who's in control of this template. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to name this send notification, create rule. The rule has been successfully created and all that's left is to practice and to test it. So I'll just be creating, I'll just be stopping this instance which will go through a series of instant state changes from stopping to stopped, and it will generate a number of notifications. So let's try it out and see if we receive those custom notifications. 
stop instance, stop. I'm just going to pause the video until I receive those notifications. If you notice the instance is in stopping state, let's go to the mailbox and see if I have received a notification. I have, and the notification says, hello, simply clouded the EC2 instance and notice that the instance ID is dynamically populated along with the state of the instance. Now my instance is in stopped state. Let's go back to the mailbox. And if I see, I see a notification for the instance state has stopped. So that's how you can create even bigger input templates using the input path and the uh, way of extracting the variables that I have shown. Use this input transformer feature to basically create understandable email templates so that your notification is not a big JSON, which you cannot understand. Enjoy learning guys and tune in for more. Post in your queries in the comments or in the email ID that we have posted below. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, please hit the bell icon at the bottom.